came here with energy and enthusiasm into a new world that held endless possibilities. A world that tested you and made you face historic challenges. But there is beauty in challenges. They help you grow stronger and smarter. They help you learn how to be better. Here you are, still standing with memories, friendships, and shared experiences that will last a lifetime. More than anything though, you created a new version of yourself. One filled with well-earned pride, confidence, and determination. You were a part of history, but your story doesn't end there. You are the one who is going to make history. You've had your time to learn and grow. You will always have a place here. But now, this is your time to shine. I put down my tobacco today for all the graduates, uh, put down on the land for you, and uh, thanks for asking me to come out with a song for you, and the song is called The All My People Song, and I want you to know that it is for all the people in our wheel. We recognize all the people. from Mother Earth and all her children. It's a giveaway. That's what I give to you. Congratulations to all of our students.
My name is Doug Routon. I'm the Dean of St. Lawrence College, Brockville Campus, and I'm honored to be your Master of Ceremonies for our Class of 2021 Convocation. I would like to begin by acknowledging that St. Lawrence College is situated on the traditional lands of the Anishinaabe and Haudenosaunee peoples. May we always be grateful to live and learn on these lands. 2021 was an unprecedented year for all of us. Our 2021 graduates demonstrate the best qualities of humanity, tenacity, adaptability, and incredible grit throughout these trying times. Their perseverance when faced with new and unknown challenges is truly a source of pride. The tremendous hard work and patience that has brought them here today has also equipped them to handle any obstacle that they may encounter in their journey. We would like to recognize all of those who have supported our graduates, especially the parents, spouses, children, families, friends, college staff, and the St. Lawrence College community for the guidance and unwavering support. In addition, I would like to say a special thank you to our many community members and college supporters. As an illustration of tenacity and adaptability, I'd like to invite you to enjoy a video presentation from our music theater performance graduates. It is now my pleasure to introduce Glenn Volderbrecht, President and CEO of St. Lawrence College, to say a few words. Greetings, everyone. Welcome parents, relatives, friends, faculty, staff, distinguished guests, and most important, welcome members of the St. Lawrence College graduating class of 2021. Today, we are making history as we are celebrating our graduating students virtually for the very first time. I know we all wish we could gather together in person and celebrate your success, but we hope you know by celebrating virtually, 
it doesn't diminish what you have accomplished and what this day represents. Today is the most important day of the year for you and for us. Convocation and the awarding of our SLC credential is a symbol of student success, and it's the entire reason we exist as an organization. It is both an honor and a privilege to address you as graduates. Every year as I prepare for convocation, I think about what I should say to the graduating class and what advice I can offer you. I spend hours agonizing over this, when in reality, no matter what I say, you will likely forget most of it. This is a huge day for each of you. You have worked hard to get here, studied, written exams, delivered presentations, finished work placements, and perhaps taken additional courses in order to graduate. You have earned the right to cross this virtual stage and be recognized for your accomplishments. And as you do, remember that today, your future is a blank slate on which anything can be written. I'm fairly certain that during your time at SLC, most of you will have had support along the way. Whether from family, friends, or someone at the college, please take a few moments to acknowledge those who have helped get you to this place today. To our faculty, staff, and our entire team here at SLC, I say thank you. Thank you for putting students first, for the creativity and innovation you have shown in finding new ways to teach, support, and inspire our students. You have all been extraordinary in very challenging times, and I thank you all for helping our students realize their dreams. I'm proud to call you my colleagues and friends, and I would personally like to thank our entire SLC team for being so passionate about making a difference each and every day. Please, everyone, let's all give these folks a big round of applause. And now to you, our graduates. Each year at Convocation, I like to offer some advice to the graduating class. Usually, I pick a theme, research it, and then share my perspective. This year, however, I think the theme found me. Today, I would like to talk about resilience. In her book, The Calm Within the Storm, A Pathway to Everyday Resiliency, by St. Lawrence College alumnus, Dr. Robin Hanley Defoe, she defines resiliency as the capacity to bounce back and rally from adversity. Now think about what you have all experienced in the past 16 months or so, shifting from a traditional in-classroom learning to an alternate learning environment. Using technology such as Teams, Zoom, Skype, although I must admit, Skype seems so March of 2020. Who actually uses Skype anymore? Even for those that were taking labs on campus with physical distancing, masking, and a campus devoid of college life, is this what you were expecting? I'm going to go out on a limb and suggest that it probably wasn't really what you or any of us at SLC were expecting. However, when you look at your experience and really pause to reflect and think about it, the lessons that you have learned about yourself and others will serve you well for your career and personal ambitions for the rest of your life. The pandemic that you, we, the entire global community has experienced will transform and forever change the ways in which we will learn, live, play, and work. Let's look at what you have done to get to this point. You have demonstrated remarkable resilience. Each of you have overcome obstacles that have never been encountered by the millions of college students who came before you. You learned how to navigate new technology, participate and thrive in open discussions on a chat line, discovered how to say you're on mute in 48 different languages. In all seriousness, throughout it all, you were self-motivated, stayed focused on your studies, and you were determined to work towards your dreams in difficult circumstances. That is the definition of resilience. Let's look at resilience another way. I want to share two compelling thoughts. Dr. Hanley Defoe says that resiliency is also the practice of taking the broken parts and creating something new, 
an ability that may not have been open to us had we not gone through hard times. Resiliency is the practice of moving through to get to the other side. It is making the next right decision. And Nelson Mandela said that education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. If you put those two thoughts together, now that you've made it to graduation, it seems you have a special responsibility. If resiliency means moving past the current circumstances and getting to the other side, now is the time for you to play an active role in shaping what the other side of the pandemic looks like. To use your education to create something new that we could not have envisioned had we not just gone through what we have. So graduates, what will you create? And what is your next right decision on the way towards your vision? How are you going to use your education, what you have learned at SLC, and the resiliency skills that you have developed to take on the challenges our society is facing today and create something better for tomorrow? In closing, I want to leave you with a quote by family activist, community curator, and storyteller, Mia Birdsong. Breath is our beginning. We are born with a cold shock of air as we inhale for the first time. Any breath after that first one can be a new start. Any moment we can declare this is a new time. So let's start again. Take a breath and return to yourself. The world ahead of us is not the one we left behind. So the version of yourself you return to can be different too. What we can each ask ourselves is who and how we want to be in that world. So graduating class of 2021, take a moment, reflect, pause, exhale, and know that you are now ready to take the next step in your journey to following your dreams and pursuing your passions. Congratulations, class of 2021. I wish you all the best. I would now like to introduce Jeanette Ferguson, Chair of the St. Lawrence College Board of Governors, to deliver greetings from the board. Greetings, President Valbrit, college graduates, honored guests. My name is Jeanette Ferguson, and I am the chair of the St. Lawrence College Board of Governors and proud member of the SLC alumni. Today, it is my privilege to bring greetings to the graduating class of 2021 on behalf of the Board of Governors and in recognition of this very important day. Graduates, you have received an outstanding educational experience during your time at SLC. In a caring and supportive environment, you were guided by the dedicated academic and administrative staff and supported by an involved community. You have put in many hours of hard work and probably more than a few long nights of study and worry as you made your way through your program. Your hard work and perseverance are evident in you being a part of this very important moment in your academic journey. You begin the next stage of your life very well prepared to take on the future. All of us at St. Lawrence College and across our Eastern Ontario communities are extremely proud of you and are excited for what lies ahead. We look forward to watching your success and hearing about your accomplishments. On behalf of the Board of Governors, I want to extend my thanks to President Valbrit and the college team. And I thank you graduates for choosing St. Lawrence College as your path to reach your goals. Welcome to the alumni graduates, you did it. It is also my privilege today to introduce to you the recipient of the 2021 St. Lawrence College Honorary Diploma. This is the highest formal honor a college can bestow. We are allowed to do this, but we're not required to do it. So we do not take this lightly. Accordingly, when we do it, we do so to recognize very special people. People who have been successful, yes, but more importantly, we tend to focus on people who apply their talents, use them for the greater good of their fellow citizens and the community at large. We also present honorary diplomas in order to bring before our graduates people who set an example that is worthy of your respect and who, we hope, 
will be able to share some of their experiences and wisdom to help inspire you to go forward from here and be the best that you can be. Today, we are pleased to honor David Ross. David grew up just down the road in Iroquois and attended Seaway District High School and graduated from the University of Waterloo with a degree in engineering. In 1991, David joined his family business and has since transformed Ross Video into an award-winning global powerhouse. David and Ross Video have received numerous global and national awards and accolades over the past 10 years, but David has never forgotten his roots and feels passionately that both he and his company remain in Eastern Ontario, where he grew up. As a placement provider for St. Lawrence College, David has supported joint student engagement opportunities in a number of areas. Furthermore, an employer of our graduates, he is instrumental in ensuring St. Lawrence College students have the opportunity to establish a career that begins at Ross Video. For this alone, I'm sure many of our students are forever grateful. And if that isn't enough, he supports local youth programs and high schools in a very generous way. President Valbritt, graduates, honored guests, it is my pleasure to present to you our honorary diploma recipient, David Ross. Thank you, Madam Chair. President Volibritt and the St. Lawrence College Board of Governors, I am honored to be receiving this honorary diploma. However, the true stars of today's ceremony are the graduating class of 2021. I would like to share some personal thoughts on the occasion. Congratulations, you have your diploma. What are you gonna do with it? Seriously, up until now, things have been pretty structured. Finish public school, high school, college, not a lot of flexibility. Now it's up to you. Choose to live a meaningful, interesting life. When I graduated from computer engineering 100 years ago, back in 1991, all I was trying to do was help save my dad's small, struggling manufacturing business. The tasks in front of me were urgent, immediate, and hard. I was in over my head most of the time and didn't even know it. Fast forward 30 years and a lifetime of experiences, and here I am, proud owner of a large global tech company with a thousand employees. It wasn't the plan to get to this size. I think it happened because I loved what I was doing, and it was always interesting. I've worked with some wonderful and amazing people. It was meaningful. It was interesting. It was so meaningful and interesting that I've often joked that if I won the lottery, the first thing I'd do is go to work the next day. So what is meaningful and interesting to you? What can give life meaning? I think it has a lot to do with other people and having a goal, a shared purpose. It's amazing how working on a task in isolation can be drudgery, but when you team up, it develops so many new aspects. A good team will propel you forward. It will make you laugh. It will make you think. It will challenge you. It will support you. It will care. Don't stay in a bad team that drags you down. Find a good team to join and share their purpose. And of course, be a valued member of that team as well. You won't regret it. A meaningful, interesting life. So what's interesting? Well, for me, it was doing things that challenged me that I wouldn't quickly forget. My wife and I decided at the outset that we would spend our money more on experiences and less on things. I don't know if everybody would agree with this, but it worked out great for us. Here are a few suggestions, all of which I've been fortunate enough to experience myself. Travel west and make it home again without ever traveling east. Fly a plane, walk the beaches of Sydney, Australia, and eat sushi atop a Tokyo skyscraper. Kayak with icebergs and zoom between LA skyscrapers in a helicopter. Learn to surf take a balloon ride, and finish almost last in a half Ironman race. Make friends in China, Russia, and the Middle East. Cross the equator in a sailboat. Experience weightlessness in what they call the Vomit Comet, and hike the Inca Trail in Peru. Backpack Europe, bungee jump at least once, and hang glide 2,000 feet up. Climb the Grand Canyon, see the Great Wall of China, visit Stonehenge, ride a camel, Sleep in a hammock in the Cambodian jungle. 
hitchhike by mistake in Kazakhstan, and scariest of all, deliver a convocation address. Find interesting things to do and keep shaking up your brain. Create days not forgotten and never regretted. Live a meaningful, interesting life. You're about to receive the raw material, the instrument that can make it happen, your diploma. Wield it. Having your education means you will have better paying jobs and that open up new possibilities. Yes, the pandemic isn't over yet, but maybe for you that's an advantage. Use this time to dream, to research, and to plan. You have an amazing journey ahead of you. And what a fantastic list of professions are starting today. You want to talk about meaning? We have nurses and firefighters. How wonderful is that? You will save countless lives. We have medical professionals. You will keep society healthy and vibrant. We have business graduates of all kinds. You will add value to your customers, and many of you will create jobs and livelihoods for your communities. We have IT professionals that will build and protect the new world that we live in. We have police and community services. You are central to a safe and well-functioning society. And we have graduates of arts and theater. You will touch and inspire people's hearts and minds. It's a special day for sure. You are off to an amazing start. Now go live it. Congratulations, David. I now would like to recognize the impact St. Lawrence College alumni are making, not just here in the Eastern Ontario region, but around the globe. The SLC Global Alumni Network is now over 100,000 strong in over 75 countries, and they continue making us all proud to be SLC. Please enjoy a video from our alumni community. Your SLC experience represents a tremendous amount of hard work, perseverance, and dedication. But that experience doesn't end today. Today, you're opening a new door to new possibilities. And like the alumni who have passed through this door before you, this is just the beginning. Since the first graduating class, the St. Lawrence College alumni community has grown to more than 100,000. That's 100,000 alumni who have shared experiences. 100,000 graduates connected through a global alumni network spanning more than 75 countries and who combined have earned over 130,000 credentials. What does it mean to be SLC alumni? It means a lot. It means friends. It means opportunities. It means career and professional growth and it honestly also means going anywhere you go and being successful or anything that you can do for me it's uh, mostly about giving back to the community where i had the chance to build my career upon and make wonderful collect connections along the way one of the extraordinary things about being a uh, graduate is all of the skill sets that you have picked up along the way in your journey. And not just curriculum related to your subject mastery, I'm talking about the learning to learn skills, getting along with people, knowing when to ask for help, knowing when you need to dig deep, dial in to be able to meet those goals. It means um, being able to have access to great connections, networks, um, lots of friends, uh, as well as bridging the gap as an immigrant, having come here from my home country and trying to understand what it means to work and live in my new country. It means having connections that you can rely on, connections you can work with. Knowing someone might be the difference between getting hired or not, and you can rely on prof other professionals for support, knowledge and information. You'll enjoy benefits and opportunities as an SLC graduate. This is my chance finally to give back to the community and the students how my professor helped me. I, I feel like this is my chance to do the same thing. I've always got a community that I can pick their brains from. I can sound off. I can get ideas. I can think 
outside the box with other people and then try and implement them on the other side of the world, which when you think about it is absolutely amazing. Be part of such a massive network of people that largely share my beliefs and values is really powerful when you're building your career because that outreach and that that thought pool is it's really helpful. I've been given the opportunity to teach various courses. I currently volunteer as a member of one of the um, PAC committees. I also guest speak. SLC alumni congratulate you on your achievement and welcome you to the community. I'm so proud of you. You guys made it through this amazing hard time this year. It hasn't been easy, so I'm so proud of you guys. Congratulations. Woohoo! Peace out. Welcome to the family and congratulations. You did it. You made it. Be proud of yourself. Oh, yay! Congratulations! Felicitations a tous! Congratulations! You guys did it! Congratulations! And you did it! Be proud. Chew, rock, you crushed it. Now on to the next chapter. You're going to do great. Welcome to the alumni. Our door is always open. As an integral piece of the fabric that makes up St. Lawrence College, our alumni create a network of connections and community. And now, as we celebrate the outstanding achievements of the Class of 2021, we would also welcome you to the alumni community. I encourage you to stay connected and stay involved. It is now time to introduce the valedictorian for the Class of 2021. Valedictorian is a derivation of the Latin phrase vale de sere, which means to say farewell. Thus, the valedictory address is a message of gratitude and inspiration from a graduating student before graduates move on to pursue their individual dreams. It gives me great pleasure to introduce the class of 2021 valedictorian, Melanie Lilly, a graduate from the Bachelor of Science in Nursing program. I'd first like to acknowledge the Dean, President and CEO, and faculty of St. Lawrence College Brockville. Thank you for your unlimited support, your ability to adapt, and your passion for this college and these students. I'm sure we can all remember a time when we sat back and asked ourselves the infamous what do I want to do with my life question. We thought about all the careers we've learned about over the years, since we were four years old saying, I want to be a firefighter, or I want to be a hairstylist. And then we thought about what we need in order to get there. And lastly, where we want to go to get it. There's college, university, small campuses, large campuses, staying in your hometown, or moving hours away to a new city. And each of us here today made the same and right decision to come here to SLC Brockville. I remember the first time I visited the campus and how shocked I was to only see one building. I see now how much truly happens in just one building. We offer 23 post-secondary programs here on the Brockville campus, ranging from business administration and hairstyling to nursing and firefighting. And although each and every one of us may have been doing completely different things along the way, we all came here for one thing, to learn. And with knowledge, we gain understanding, experience, and wisdom. SLC provides us with the knowledge and foundation for us to then build on. Whether it be to get a job, to go back to school, or just because you love to learn, each of us can now move forward with our lives. Now that's not to say I can answer the next infamous, what do I do now question. What each of us does from now on is what we choose for ourselves. Our path is whatever we create it to be. And maybe it won't be what you expected. Maybe it'll change a million times. However, these branches of our paths are what make life so unique and eventually helps guide us to where we're truly meant to be. We may have never thought we would choose to go to a small college like SLC, but here we are. And many of us are closing this chapter of our lives, when in reality, we are so early on in our path. What's amazing about everyone's path here is that although each one is going to be significantly different, this opportunity allowed for our paths to cross. We've all made some incredible friendships while here, 
whether it be with people in your class or in a completely different program, who you met in the CAF or during intramurals or at a house party. And we get to cherish all of these memories of learning and having fun together. But maybe our paths won't ever cross again, and that's okay. Because similar to our parents and caregivers, SLC prepares us for the real world. We now have the tools to do anything we want to do, be anyone we want to be, and go anywhere we want to go, thanks to our professors, instructors, and all other faculty. But I'd like to emphasize that the most important person who got you here today is yourself. We made it. We overcame every obstacle we were faced with. And yes, there is no question that it was challenging. It may have been the single hardest obstacle you've faced in your life this far, but we did it. And we are here today to celebrate that. Through all of the lectures, essays, exams, late nights and early mornings, placements, we all put our best foot forward to get to where we are now. And of course, we've had to handle everything else in our lives, like our families, friends, weddings, maybe celebrations of life. But all of these obstacles, we overcame each one. And up to this point, school has probably been our biggest focus and challenge, but it is not our life. It is simply the stepping stone to achieving goals, building careers, and exploring opportunities we may have not previously had. It's taught us to be resilient when we were faced with challenges, one of the greatest being this pandemic. We've had to transition to mostly online learning, We've lost the typical college experience of orientation, eating in the cafe with our friends, working on group projects in the library or at Starbucks. And instead, we've all sat on our computers and patiently waited for our professors to learn how to share their screen. And yet, we did it. With the help and support of our professors and faculty, our friends and our family, we still achieved our goal. You are here today because you deserve the greatest congratulations on this achievement. And if someone hasn't already told you, I am proud of us. Together, the staff and students here at SLC have conquered and will continue to conquer the challenges our world is faced with. But students, each one of us is what makes SLC. We represent the college. We embody belonging, equity, diversity, and inclusion. Much of the beauty in this college, I believe, lies within these pillars. Our ability as such a small community to engage with each and every student who enters those front doors and feel welcomed like you chose the right school and you're in the right place is what makes us unique. So thank you, fellow students, for demonstrating what it truly means to be a part of SLC. I'd like to dedicate a moment to Tiffany Keeler, who tragically passed away four years ago. She was a first year nursing student and a new mom to a beautiful boy named Declan. She would have been graduating with us today. Tiffany reminds us of how grateful we are to be here, pursuing our passions and dreams as she once did. I'll finish this with a question that we can all ask ourselves. Moving forward with your degree, your diploma, or your certificate, there is no doubt that each of us has the power to make an impact on this world. And as Benjamin Franklin asked, I challenge each of you to ask yourselves, what good may I do in it? Thank you. The President's List recognizes graduates who have rendered valuable and distinguished service to the college community. Eligibility is based on academic excellence, including graduating with distinction, along with interest and activities involving leadership, citizenship, and community service. It is my pleasure to announce the recipients of the President's List Award. Congratulations, Janice Denishow, graduate of the General Arts and Science Diploma Program. Danielle Irene McKenna, graduate of the Office Administration Health Services Program. And Amber Marie Spencer, graduate of the Mental Wellness and Addiction Worker Program. Congratulations to our prestigious award recipients. To conclude our Class of 2021 ceremony, on behalf of Laurentian University, I will deliver the proclamation to our Bachelor of Science in Nursing graduates. Following the proclamation, President and CEO of St. Lawrence College, Glenn Bullebrecht, will deliver the charge to the graduates. Would the Laurentian graduating class please rise? In the name of the university and by the authority of the Senate, I proclaim that you are holders of the rights and honors and privileges pertaining to your degree. The charge. Graduates, from wherever this finds you, I'm going to ask you to please rise. 
This is an important moment for each of you. Today, you have been admitted into the proud fellowship of the graduates of the Institutes of Applied Arts and Technology of the province of Ontario, an honor bestowed only upon those who have met long established standards of conduct and learning. In the name of St. Lawrence College, therefore, I hereby charge you zealously to safeguard the professional dignity and ethics of this fellowship. Sincerely to cultivate the spirit of inquiry and experiment. Earnestly to maintain through study the fresh viewpoint demanded in an age of rapid change and technological advancement. And generously to contribute in all these ways to the society around you that the dignity of all of us through you may be constantly reaffirmed. Thank you for coming everyone and congratulations to the St. Lawrence College 2021 graduating class.